Oh, hi. This week, I still cannot get my shit together. Man, all day yesterday, I tried to film a video on sewing some face masks. There's weirdly a lot of drama around cloth face masks. It's not hurting, so I'm gonna make them, and that is my stance on it. If you wanna know where I found the pattern for that, though I'm not following her instructions, I'm doing my own thing. What a surprise. I will link in the description if you're looking for a good face mask pattern. So yeah, we're gonna do something that just involves less brain power, I think. I have this whole tub of Sculpey clay. I've had a couple packages of white forever. I don't even remember what the initial project was that I wanted to make with it. And then at good old Goodwill, I found an almost complete color pack with like 10 colors. And the only color really missing was the white, but that's what I already have a bunch of. I don't know the last time I used clay for anything, but I kind of just want to try making myself some earrings. I don't even care if it goes well. I just want to be touching clay right now. This is like a calming texture to be playing with. It's a little tacky, but not to the point it's making my hands feel gross. I also have a bunch of these little metal stamps. I think I tried using one once, but everything got jammed up inside. So I did learn a little trick that I'll show you when we get to that point, but we'll see if it helps keep my fucking metal stamps clear shit. We're just gonna see how this goes. I wanna give you zero expectations because <laughs> I cannot meet them if you have any. So yeah, I'm just working this till it's a little softer. That seems like the thing to do with this, right? My mom worked at a craft store for a super long time. We, we just always made stuff when I was a kid. I want to say that she is good with Sculpey clay. She's good with everything artsy. That woman can paint and sketch whatever is in her head onto a canvas or a piece of paper. She doesn't give herself enough credit, as I'm finding many of my very creatively talented friends don't do. You're all better than you think you are. I could probably take my own advice sometimes. I'm gonna try to not spend the entire time talking about what's going on, but it is the elephant in the room, so like I'm filming this on the 27th, I guess. I think today's Friday. I only know it's Friday because I need to put a video up. I want to put a video up. I know if I didn't give myself this weekly deadline, I'd have nothing. Like everything feels difficult, but I can't not be doing something on a weekly basis. I don't actually know if I have my last holdout of three part-time jobs. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're essential or not. I think we're finding out sometime later today, but the not knowing is like really freaking me out. Even if we do stay open, I haven't really been getting much in the way of hours. So we'll see. Uh, the state of New Hampshire is officially under a stay-at-home order until May 4th, but I know many other like bigger areas like Denver, they're only going for another like week and a half or two weeks. So uh, I was surprised at the date, although I, th I think it's good it's that long. I mean, I'm not an expert about these things, but it seems like if you have a solid chunk of time where everyone's staying away from each other, which has not been happening as much as I was expecting around here, I just don't know what to do, what to think. I feel like I'm barely functioning. Today is the first day I've like gotten out of bed at a normal time, and I know that sounds luxurious, but I'm, uh, I'm kind of freaking out. Like, the days I work from home, I'm up at a certain time. I, I usually still get up by 6.30 latest if I've stayed up late the night before, but I'm usually up between 5 and 5.30. Same thing on days that I am working somewhere, and I have, like, a set chunk of time I want to be working if I'm staying home and that kind of stuff just hasn't been happening. Also, the events I was supposed to be working these next months aren't happening, so as far as like building inventory and stuff, I don't know what to do. I have a lot of stuff already made that just, it's just sitting here. My Etsy has been just about dead, even though I've done some product launches recently, and that's been really tough, uh, so I don't know if I should be making new stuff for that. I guess I just don't know what to be making for that as well. I'm just trying not to be too down on myself because like everyone's shit is slow online. It's not necessarily just me, but then I'm also like, are they just bad products? I don't know. I just don't know what to do with myself. I'm trying not to get too discouraged. Yeah. Like I said, I'm having a tough time, and I'm sorry if this is like not particularly uplifting to be hearing right now, but I just wanted to vent. Like these are the thoughts going through my head when I am stuck on something that should be such a basic task and I just like can't get myself through it. So yeah, I figured I'd, I'd let the thoughts out a little bit and um, 
I am sorry if you can relate to things because it's it's a really fucking terrible headspace to be in and uh, yeah, I just, I feel incapable of doing so much right now. It's tough. It's tough, especially because there's all this time. Like you can't have plans to go out into the world. Everyone has the time to be at home to do those creative projects. But if you have all the steam taken out of you and you just keep getting mentally beaten down every morning, you're checking the news and you just have nothing in the tank to do those projects like that, that sucks. This is a special kind of hell for me because I have ideas. I just can't do them. And it like hurts me. I'm sure a lot of you are in a similar space and, uh, it sucks. Like, I'm sorry that you're also in that space. I know a lot of you come here for like this silly debauchery and that's not really the tone so far. So, um, yeah, let me at least show you the trick I'm going to try. I have flattened this into a patty. I just kind of subconsciously was shaping it into something. All right. So I have the world's best tiniest cutting mat that my fairy god Cheryl sent me. I love it so much. It's perfect for like little shit like this. So yeah, as you can see, I have some cling wrap and supposedly you can take the little stamp shape. These are pretty long metal ones and press them in without the clay getting stuck inside. I think this needs to be thinner actually. Like I said, I have very little experience with this. So if you do clay things and you have any suggestions, please let me know. Yeah, see this looks weird, right? It's like really bulbous and maybe it's just because my shit is too thick. I do like how this came out though. Ooh, except, <laughs> except how do I get it off the mat? Oh no! <laughs> Try to rework this and just make a thinner layer and then give it a go. Oh, I should look at the baking instructions. Okay, and it says we bake at 275 for 15 minutes per quarter inch. So it's like when you're cooking, you know, your Christmas ham or your Thanksgiving turkey. I don't really like either of those things, so I've never personally made either one. Oh, that reminds me. I was recently talking with, I think it was during a chat with Grant and Sama. They were asking me about Hawaiian pizza. It must have been how it came up. And I was like, you know, what? I've never had Hawaiian pizza. And they were like, oh, you're not like a pineapple on pizza guy. I was like, I don't mind cooked pineapple in a stir fry or something if there's some like spicy seasoning on it. I don't always hate pineapple. It's just not something I I want to eat raw. I do like a lot of other fruit, but that doesn't tend to be one. Uh, but even like a pineapple salsa is something I would go for. Why am I on a pineapple tangent? Oh, right. Um, and then I was explaining like, it's not the pineapple that is the issue. It's that anything with ham on it just really makes my dick soft. <laughs> not to judge other people that do like ham, but yeah, uh, that, that about sums up my feelings on it. I'm just kind of pivoting as the project goes and letting it guide me. The clay wants to turn into something. I just gotta figure out what it is. So other than revisiting much older types of craft materials that I haven't touched in a long time, I have been coloring in my Doctor Who and Harry Potter like adult coloring books. Honestly, I prefer the abstract pages and I kind of wish I just had like a more generic thing to work on because my brain gets really caught up on having like screen accurate colors, you know, where if it was just some wild mandala thing happening, is that even the right word? I think I'd be able to be a little more free flowing with it and just let my brain relax. But I, I do, I get really hung up on certain colors. I was thinking tomorrow morning, so Saturday the 28th, maybe do another live stream and I'll, I'll probably just break out the crayons in the coloring book. Um, I have been finding crayons are the most satisfying to use. You can cover a lot of space. You can still get some different color variations with the same crayon, but it's not as painstaking as colored pencils. It's also not as loud as colored pencils because sometimes I can feel goosebumps forming thinking about the noise of colored pencils when they're starting to get down and the lead isn't like there anymore. <laughs> You're basically scraping wood across the paper. I I can feel my skin crawling. <laughs> Ooh, you know what? I've just remembered. I probably shouldn't blindly dig around in this holder because there's definitely very sharp implements in here. Yeah, there's definitely an X-Acto knife in there. So, uh, shit, where are my sculpting tools? 
We're not in with the clay. What else do I use them for? Why do I do this to myself? Okay, well that turned into me digging through my lino block cutting kit for way too long. What a surprise. This video should just be titled, hey, do you wanna watch me not focus for two hours? Speaking of, I, uh, I also just found my cross stitching stuff. I'm sure we will be dabbling with that at some point, but for real, where the fuck did I put my sculpting tools? All right, let's think, what else? what I have used them for. Also, yes, I'm sorry, I'm just like this. I hate it. This is the thing I get most frustrated with myself as I'm such a space case and I like can't focus to save my life sometimes. It's either no focus at all or I'm so hyper fixated on something that I forget to eat and go to the bathroom. So like, there's no real middle ground and it's very frustrating, but also I forget all the time. So I uh, I know I am exhausting. I apologize to all the people that have to deal with my exhaustiveness. Uh, I don't know how to fix it. All I can do is learn to cope with it. What I usually do is write myself notes either in my phone, I'll like text myself and then not open the, the immediate response text that comes. It like copies your own text back to you. I leave that unopened until the next morning. So it's more of an alert to be like, oh, I have an unread text. Oh, right, that's from me to me. That is helpful. That is actually the only reason I remembered that I wanted to fuck around with the Sculpey clay this morning. And it has such minimal tasks as eat breakfast, go for a walk, take a shower, get dressed. That's where I'm at the past couple weeks. Thankfully, I have lots of supportive and helpful friends and lots of you are like, oh, this is what I do to deal with that similar thing. So just, just know I very much appreciate those of you that accept the madness that happens here, but also uh, if you deal with similar things, you like talk about how you handle things and sometimes I'm able to get bits and pieces out of that that help me. What a surprise, I have lost track of what I was doing. Right, we're looking for sculpting tools. My goodness. All right, I have kind of my like random shit bin that has a myriad of craft supplies, popsicle forms. I, I don't know, there's a bunch of hemp. I got some felt for a project I'm gonna do with my niece. I have some molds. Yes, these are dick molds. <laughs> I could use them as like an ice tray or something once it's hot out, make a little like cocktail. Jesus. <gasps> also me looking off into the distance just then annoyed with my own pun. Um, initially unintentional, but then I leaned into it. I don't know if you, you saw that in my face. <laughs> I think I figured out where the sculpting tools are. LOL, JK, nope, they weren't there. I, uh, oh, for fuck's sake, they were in my little caddy this entire time. Ugh. Of course, of course they were in the most obvious and accessible spot. That is why I moved them there. So <laughs> I'm gonna use this to try to scrape these off of here. Let's see how it goes. Uh, not great. Although, I was able to kind of reshape it back on there. Hmm. All right. I mean, that went okay. Break it off some of this red. All right. Now that I've fucked around with this enough, I'm going to take one of the colors. Oh my God, it's so stiff. Oh yeah, it's definitely getting some pigment onto my hands. This is so satisfying to just like mush around. If anyone needs me to mush their clay for them, I got you. I have a very special set of skills. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Yeah, these came out way better. All right, I'm not mad about this. I'm gonna take like a stiff bristle brush, take a couple of these little red hearts. We're gonna like stipple them, maybe. Okay, real talk, this is ridiculously fun to do. All right, I don't know if you can see the texture difference on here. Here's the one I stippled and here's the one I didn't. Cool, this is fun. So I'm gonna sandwich this in between these two little guys. All right, we've made a little heart sandwich. All right, well, this has been very educational. I'm sure this is completely useless as far as like deriving any information for you all. I had an absolute blast working on this. You may be asking yourself, is she not going to bake them? No, because when I go to bake them, I want to do like a whole batch because I don't want to just turn the oven on and sit around for 15 minutes just for this tiny little guy. And I have already mushed him into oblivion anyway. So yeah, definitely not a successfully finished project, but this is definitely a successful experiment with a couple different things. And I am finally excited to fuck around with Sculpey clay. Cause I was just like, cool, I have all this material and I hate working with it because the stamps weren't working before. And uh, I wasn't liking how any of my own shapes were coming in. If I have a beer or two in me and I'm just fucking around with it, I will enjoy making just weird shit. I do need some structure to the thing where there is too much choice 
using Sculpey, you can literally make anything. It's like when you have a blank canvas and you're like, the fuck am I supposed to paint? There's too many options. I do suspect that that exact thing is why I prefer Frankensteining in existing garments because there are parameters you have to work within where when you have a pattern, yes, there are guidelines for what to do, but you can kind of turn it into anything. You can use any fabric you want. There's just less restraints and you can also alter any part of it you want. Where that is also why I'm forcing myself to work through more patterns this year is just to use up what I have, find a pattern that needs the type of material I have in my stash. And so there are still some limits and just figure out what I like to make. I'm trying to figure out my own style a little more and that has been helpful. And I've already learned so much. I did finally start cutting out pattern pieces from the Tilly and the Buttons stretch book. I don't know when those projects are going to happen. I'm not forcing it because I want to enjoy the process of the book. I don't have enough of the right material for a lot of the projects. I don't have enough like double knit pont fabric, ponty fabric, but I can definitely, as Fawn has suggested, fuck up some t-shirts and make them into raglan sleeves with the Frankie pattern. So I'm excited to work through it. Things just aren't happening how I was hoping they would these past couple weeks, but nothing is happening how anyone thought they would the past couple weeks. And I think shit's going to be weird for quite a while coming up here. So at least we all have each other. The internet's fine. I've been appreciating everyone else showing me their projects, joining any of my live streams, other people posting live streams. I get the most motivated when I'm watching someone else working on stuff. Honestly, if someone else was just fiddling around with some material they had laying around and didn't actually execute an actual project, I think I would still enjoy just something happening with their hands, you know? I did a live stream on my Instagram yesterday. I'll link below if you want to follow me. I also have a business Instagram I never use. I really need to be better about posting on there because that's also probably part of why my Etsy sales have been so crap is because I'm not putting in the time to do the social media side. I just hate promoting my own shit. I'm so uncomfortable about it. That's basically why whenever I talk about stuff on here, it's when it's not going super well. And I do apologize for that. Things are gonna be fine, but it's hard not to stress out and feel discouraged when, yeah, you haven't been moving your product. Uh, Cause I, I think I have over a hundred listings on there right now and I've made very few sales. I think part of this whole thing is, I, I certainly don't have extra money to be spending. So I totally understand that being the case for everyone else. I have, I'm gonna get emotional if I think about it too much. I have had a few more people either start or upgrade their Patreon donations and I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Cause that's gonna be my whole fucking day if I start. Thank you to everyone that has um, increased or like initiated their Patreon support. Um, that is the most direct way to help me and probably every other artist and creator that you follow online. That is a more sustainable way there is a more one-off donation website called Coffee, Kofi, K-O-F-I, um, that I know like myself and a lot of other creators have. Yeah, definitely the most direct way to support people that you enjoy content from. So the fact that anybody wants to pitch in financially for that kind of stuff so that I can keep doing these things, um, yeah, I, I get very emotional thinking about it. So, uh, um... Oh fuck, here we go. Um, I just really appreciate it. I don't know how else to say it, but thank you so much. We're gonna get this to stop. And um, yeah, sorry, this didn't turn into more of a thing. Like I said, I, I just cannot get my shit together. Um, I'm, I'm trying so hard. I was in here for so many hours yesterday and I, I just can't, I feel incapacitated most of the time. But once the gears start moving again, I'm excited to have more things to fuck around with. So I I feel better having futzed around with all this Sculpey clay. I, um, I hope this also encourages you to maybe revisit an old craft that you got really mad at and didn't want to touch for a long time, but still have the materials for. Now's the time to fuck around with those and just don't set a high bar for yourself. Just, just futz around with it and see how it feels in your hands. So yeah, I don't know why I always drag out the goodbye part. I do this on my fucking live streams all the time. 
But yeah, speaking of live streams, let's do one tomorrow. Let me know if there's a specific time. I know I went pretty early last week. Let me know what y'all are thinking and we'll figure out a time. I just, I just want to hang out with everybody. All right, I'm gonna go make myself some food, sit with the pup and get this edited. And uh, yeah, I look forward to chatting with you all in the comments. I will see you with the live stream tomorrow. And if not, then I'll be back with another video next Friday. Thank you so much for hanging out. It means the absolute world. Bert, can we put a pause on the butthole licking, please?